Hello, and welcome to the Band in a Box video overview of the repeats and endings dialog. Within Band in a Box, you can add your own repeats and endings by right clicking in the chord sheet, notation, or lead sheet windows, and selecting the repeats, codas, first, second endings options in the drop down menu. This will open the edit repeats and endings dialog. First, we will go over the controls within this dialog, and then we will take a look at the features in action. On the left here, we have a section to select the type of repeat or ending you would like to use. Depending on which of the six options you choose will determine the options displayed on the right. Below, we have an options button. This will open the Band in a Box display options dialog. Within this dialog, we have an option to globally enable or disable the display of repeats and endings. This is helpful for musicians who are not used to reading first and second endings or repeats and may prefer to always view the song in a linear format. The show form button displays a summary of the form of the song as examined by Band in a Box. This is useful for analyzing the form of the song in case you want to add your own repeats and endings manually and want a quick summary of the form. Band in a Box shows you the form in two bar sections and each number represents a unique two bar section of the song. With the auto find button, Band in a Box will intelligently examine the song and try to detect any repeats or first second endings in the song. If found, Band in a Box will offer to make the repeat for you automatically. The Edit List button opens a dialog that shows you a list of repeats and endings that have been entered in the song and allows you to edit or delete them. The Generate Insert New Bars checkbox can be used to automatically generate a repeated section of bars. We will show this in action a little later in the video. The Tag Endings button will open the Song Settings dialog where you can set the tag endings options. A tag ending is a group of bars that are played at the end of the song. If the tag exists box is checked, then the song will jump to the tag ending at a specified bar when it gets to the last chorus. The delete button simply deletes all repeats entered in the current song. Now let's take a look at some of these features in action. The song I currently have loaded has a good example of a first and second ending. As you can see, the first eight bars are very similar to the second eight bars. The only difference between the two sections are the last two bars. So we can simplify this chart by defining a first and second ending. So we will right click on the chord sheet and select repeats, coda, first, second endings. Notice I did highlight bars seven and eight before opening the repeats and endings dialog. I did this because Band in a Box will use the selected bars to automatically fill in some of the repeat parameters. Repeat begins at bar is set to 1 by default, which happens to be correct for this situation, so I will leave that as is. The first ending is automatically set to bar 7, and the ending lasts for two bars because I highlighted a two bar section beginning at bar 7. Since all the chords for this song have already been written, I will make sure the Generate Insert New Bars option is unchecked. If I were writing the song from scratch, this option would be useful and will be demonstrated later in the video. We have set all the necessary parameters, so all I need to do is press OK, Make Repeat. And now we can see the red repeat sign displayed after bar 8, as well as the 1 at bar 7 and 2 at bar 15 indicating the first and second endings. You will also notice that bars 9 through 14 are now grey, representing the bars that are repeated when the song is played. So if we were to turn on fake sheet mode in the toolbar, the chord sheet would condense and the grey bars disappear. Those bars do not need to be displayed because the repeat sign after bar 8 tells us to go back to bar 1, play through bar 6, and then jump to the second ending at bar 15. Fake sheet mode also works with the lead sheet, as you can see the repeat sign and the first and second endings displayed here. We can also toggle fake sheet mode off and on from within the lead sheet. Now let's press play and see how Band in a Box plays our first and second endings.
and now we're hearing the first ending. Repeating back to bar one. Through bar six. And skipping to the second ending at bar 15. Now I have the same song loaded, except only the first eight bars have been entered as if I was just writing the song now. Same as before, I would like to repeat the first eight bars with the last two bars of that section being different. So once again, I'll use first and second endings. So I'll open up the repeats and endings dialog again. And like before, Band in a Box has automatically filled out the parameters based off my highlighted bars. But this time, I will check the Generate Insert New Bars checkbox before I click OK. Now you can see that Band in a Box has automatically inserted the repeated bars for me. All I have to do now is type in the second ending. And I'll quickly type in the rest of the song. But this time, when I press play, I will leave Fake Sheet Mode disabled so we can view what's going on in the background. As you can see, Band in a Box has gone back to bar 1, but is actually playing bars 9 through 14 behind the scenes. The reason for the extra bars is so that Band in a Box could play a slightly different variation in bars 9 through 14 than it played in bars 1 through 6. This time, I will demonstrate a DC Alcoda. I want this song to return to the beginning after 8 bars, repeat 4 bars, and then jump to bar 9. First, I'll highlight the four bars I want to be repeated, and drag bar 1 to bar 9. This will duplicate those four bars after bar 8. I will open the Repeat and Endings dialog by right-clicking on bar 1, but this time, I'll select DC Alcoda. For DC after bar number, I'll enter 8 because I want the song to go back to the beginning after bar 8. And for Go To Coda after bar number, I'll enter 4, because I want the song to repeat the first 4 bars. Uncheck Generate Insert New Bar, and now just click OK. Now we have the hidden bars shown in grey, which are the same as the first 4 bars. So I'll enable Fake Sheet Mode, and you can still see the markings here at bar 8, meaning we want to go back to the beginning after this bar, and the markings at bar 4 stating that we want to jump to bar 9 after repeating the first 4 bars. This time, I will demonstrate an example of a DC Alphine. I would like the song to return to the beginning after bar 16 and repeat for 4 bars before jumping to the end. So I'll highlight the 4 bar section I would like to repeat, and I'll drag bar 1 to bar 17. This will duplicate those bars after bar 16. I'll open the repeats and endings dialog again and choose DC Alphine. For DC after bar number, I'll put in 16, because I'd like the song to go back to the beginning after bar 16. For Ne symbol after bar number, I'll enter 4, because I want to repeat the first 4 bars. Number bars after DC to Fene needs to be the same, so I'll enter 4 again. Uncheck Generate Insert New Bar, press OK, and now the hidden bars are displayed in grey. They are exactly the same as the first four bars, so now I can enable fake sheet mode and play the song.
Now I will quickly demonstrate a DS Alcoda. I want the song to return to bar 5 after the first 16 bars, repeat 8 bars, and then jump to bar 17. So I'll highlight the 8 bars I'd like to be repeated, and drag bar 5 to bar 17. This will duplicate those 8 bars after bar 16. I'll open the repeats dialog again by right clicking on bar 5, and this time I'll select DS Alcoda. DS after bar number, I'll enter 16, because I want the song to go to the sign after bar 16. Sign symbol at bar number 5, because this is the first bar of the repeated section. Go to coda after bar number 12, because this is the last bar of the repeated section. I'll uncheck insert bars, and press OK. Again, the hidden bars are in the gray, and appear the same as bars 5 through 12 as those are the repeated bars. So I can now turn on fake sheet mode and press play. Now, I will quickly demonstrate a DC Al Finet. I want the song to return to bar 5 after the first 16 bars, repeat 8 bars, and then jump to the end. So I'll highlight the 8 bars I'd like to repeat, and drag bar 5 to bar 17. This will duplicate those 8 bars after bar 16. I'll open the repeats dialog again by right clicking on bar 5. This time, I'll select DS Alphanet. DS after bar number, I'll enter 16 because I want the song to go to the sign after bar 16. Sign symbol at bar number 5 because this is the first bar of the repeated section. Finet symbol after bar number 12 because this is the last bar of the repeated section. Number of bars after DS to Finet, 8 because this is the number of bars that gets repeated. I'll uncheck insert bar and press OK. Again, the hidden bars are in grey and appear the same as bars 5 through 12, as those are the repeated bars. So I can turn on fake sheet mode and press play. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box video overview of the repeats and endings dialogue. Have fun!